All right, so today I'm going to move a part across the screen during gameplay, and I'm going to use the tween service. I'm going to do a couple of tween service um, uh, videos. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need a couple parts, and we're going to use these as reference points. And in AI, they often call it these waypoints, so they're navigation points. So let's go ahead and make that position a little bit up so we can float. We're going to float the part. We're going to float a ball from one part to another. And I'm going to call this part one. And let's make the position, let's make the size a little different. The position's good. The size, I'm going to make that small, one, one, one. And it's not going to matter because in your game, you'd make those invisible. You're going to anchor it so it doesn't fall, and you're going to turn can collide off so that uh, you don't your players don't bump into it or something else doesn't bump into it, including the ball that we're moving across the screen. All right, let's go and make the transparency like half transparency because we want to see it for our programming purposes. But you'd make it invisible in your game, so do a Control D to duplicate that part, and we're just going to put two of these two of these waypoints. All right, two of these reference points. We'll say part two. All right, now we need a part to move, and I'm gonna make a ball. There we go, sphere. It's a good way it is, uh, except I do want to anchor it, so I'll go ahead and anchor it. And let's make it like look like a balloon or something like pink. There we go. And I'm gonna call it a balloon. I'm gonna select the balloon in the two parts. I'm gonna group it. There we go into a model. And I'm going to call it a uh, moving ball. There we go. And the moving ball on the model, I'm going to put a script. In the script, I'm going to call this uh, move it or move item. Yeah, now move it. Move it's good. Move it. And that's tiny. Let's make that bigger. All right, so we're going to need a couple variables. I'm going to need a variable for the tween service. And I'm going to call that TS for tween service. Game get service, tween service, there we go, and we'll need, P1 is going to be our part one, and that's the script.parent, part one, there we go, local, P2, script.parent, part two, and we'll need a reference to our ball, script.parent, ball, cool, let's make a function, local function, and I'll call that move item and I'm going to pass in the item to move and um, I'll call this WP for waypoint right so waypoint is a reference point and so we'll say local now that we need some tween info to go into our tween service to tell what type of movement we want we have a lot of different options I'm just going to take the most boring one the linear movement we want some smooth linear movement so I'm going to say TI for tween info I'm going to get the tween info class here I'm going to make it new, so they're going to make an object out of it. First argument is going to be how long it takes to get from one point to another, right? And from the starting point to our waypoint. Now, the e and that's in seconds. And the easing style is how we want it to move. We're going to make it linear, but you can, like, bounce it and stuff like that. So I'll say enum, uh, easing style, and it's going to be linear movement. Let me make this a little, here, I'll just move this over. There we go. And we need another, we need, we need more variables. We are arguments. We need easing direction. All right, so easing direction, if you do it like a bounce, do you want it to happen in the beginning or the end? Since our movement is linear, it's not going to matter, so I'll just put out. And then this value here, you can see there's a cheat sheet here that tells you uh, what, what these do. So we have a repeat count. We're not going to repeat it. We're just going to do one movement. And then we'll have a Boolean for reversing it. And then uh, a number in seconds for a delay if you want one. I'm not going to use a delay. Let me get rid of that other parenthesis that snuck in there. All right, now we need our tween. Now that we have our tween info. And we'll do a tween service. What did I call it? TS. Create. And the first thing we're going to do is pass in the item we want to move. And then we need our tween info. And then what we're going to, the things we're going to tween. And one of them, what we're going to do is we're going to change position. All right, so position equals, and I want waypoint position. So we're going to tween to this position. So we're going to go from our current position to this position. 
Let me move this to the next line. There we go. I'll break up the long line there. And then don't forget to play your tween. And I'm going to wait the same amount of seconds as it's going to take to get to the destination because when we hit the play, it doesn't freeze the script. The script will keep going. So I'm going to, I'm going to manually freeze it with this wait statement. All right, let's just wait five seconds before we call that function so we can get in the game and see it. I'm going to say, what is it? I call that move item. And I'm going to send in the ball and P1. Right, and then I'm going to move item, ball, P2, and then let's move back to P1. So move item, ball, P1. All right, so we're going to do three movements here. That's why it's pretty handy to have a function because you can call it multiple times with just one line of code. You can see where a loop would be really good in here. Let's go ahead and try it. Go to our flat terrain, we'll hit our play, and let's see what we got. All right, there's a ball, it's moving, it's moving to the points, and it should go back to this one here. All right, cool. That is a very basic tween video on how to move apart, so we're tweening on position. And I will do a few more of these for some other stuff that you can do.